So yesterday I learned the name of two different build systems. One was called Snowpack and one's called Vite. Vite is created by the creator of View, Edwin View. So it's quite unusual to discover the names of two build systems in the one day, but apparently they're, they're gaining quite traction from almost both got around 10,000 stars. And they're what's called bundleless build systems that don't actually bundle everything, you can pile everything every time they, they do a build. It's incremental. Well, you only you only reload the page that you're modifying because it works on uh, um, module imports. So this is VT here, the repo head repository. And uh, I'm not interested in Vue at all, but uh, I'm interested in Svelte. So there's um, somebody's created a plugin called SVT, and there's an example here using Tailwind CSS and um, Svite. So let's just check out this repository and check out what's going on here. Okay, so let's just see how, how he structures a Svelte project. And uh, I'm interested in Tailwind CSS as well, so I'm going to compare this to what I, what I have in one of my projects. So there's this, is the, this is the config here. There's a plugin called Svite, which you know has some of the complexity for building Svelts. And um, I mean, I do like this sort of low, low maintenance. You know, there's a few lines here. There's also a Tailwind C in its CSS, which has uh, the settings for purging CSS from Tailwind that we don't need. Um, again, this is a bit um, a bit complicated, but um, <laughs> I trust this guy's done it all right. He can't be an expert in everything. And this is a Svelte config here. They're using something called Post CSS and Svelte Preposes. I mean, you, like I said, you can't be an expert in everything, and well, this is hopefully this guy's done it right. So, and then we've got this Post CSS config, which has um, Post CSS import, um, Tailwind CSS, and this preset environment. In terms of dependencies, not that many. Tailwind, Svite, Vite, Svelte. And we've got our index page. Let's check the source out. We've got an index page here. So he's importing CSS like this. And he imports all the Tailwind CSS stuff. Okay, let's just see if this um, compiles and what we get. So we need to do a yarn and uh, a npm install. Loading Chromium for some reason. Puppeteer. Interesting. Ah, I've installed it on the wrong directory. <laughs> I've run it in the root. Okay, let's just cancel this. Ah, well, let it finish, finish your stuff. So we've got to go to. Um, Examples and um, post CSS tailwind. All right, should be quicker. The fan always goes in the MacBook when doing a bunch of other installs. Unfortunately, that was reasonably really quick. All right, let's see what his build command is. Um, dev unread stale service worker yield is required to validate cache nice so this is post CSS here let's just see if part CSS has worked correctly I'm trying to resize the screen here Right, so let's just check the CSS. So you have some inbuilt CSS there.
Hmm. It's in line. But it's a lot less than what Tailwind would give you if you were imported all of Tailwind. Hello, Peace Post CSS. So in theory, if I change something here, it should just refresh. It shouldn't ref refresh the whole page, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. But you can you can change that like that. This is when a a, <laughs> a full screen would be pretty helpful. Too many projects open. That's pretty legit, by the way. I like that. The hot module reloading as well. Hmm. Okay, well, this is uh, Zvite and uh, Vite and uh, interesting stuff. Thanks.